Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish Gaming. This is gaming news on Clownfish Gaming, and the big news this week is Five Nights at Freddy's, the movie. The movie that's been in development for like ever. Well, it came out and it did really, really good. I mean, like really good. Like it is the biggest Halloween opening of all time. Completely destroyed expectations financially. And that is despite the critics saying the movie wasn't very good. It wasn't a good movie, according to the critics. Now, we actually saw the movie. The movie was okay. I, I think Freddy super fans will get a lot more out of it than I did. Uh, our daughter is a huge fan, and she was explaining the lore to me a little bit more. Now, I've watched her play the games. I've actually played some of the games with her. I didn't fully understand all the backstory, but she's like, no, it was it was pretty good. Um, so we're going to talk about this, because this, uh, this is pretty big news. This is another win for video game movies. And we've had so many wins for video game movies after so many years of really bad video game movies. So please give a sub to the channel if you want more video game news and gameplay videos. We do a lot of gameplay. Go out there, check out our videos. They're lots of fun. We just mess around. We're not super serious. Uh, and there are some Freddy's videos out there, by the way. I think we did Security Breach uh, last year. I think it was last year. So this is coming from Collider. Five Nights at Freddy's high score at the global box office destroys expectations. Despite poor reviews and day and date streaming released domestically. Yeah, that's that's huge. I, I didn't even realize that. We went to go see it at the theater. I did not realize you could watch it on, on uh, Peacock too. I didn't know that. So people are watching it at home and they're still going to the theater. So if it was only available theatrically, how much more money would this thing have made? Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's is winning big at the box office. A niche gamer spells it out very well. It's the biggest Halloween premiere ever. That's huge. Um, so Universal's Five Nights at Freddy's exceeded expectations, grossing over 100 million globally. I heard it was like 130 million in the first three days, indicating the potential for a new horror movie franchise. You gotta remember too, this movie only cost $25 million to make. Okay, they made this thing on a shoestring. $25 million is a Blumhouse movie, and it's already made $130 million or something like that globally. That's crazy. Despite poor reviews and a day and date debut in Peacock, the film still managed to gross $78 million domestic and $50 million from international markets. It actually beat Mario. It beat Super Mario on Friday. It had a bigger opening than the Super Mario movie, which was another win for video games. We had Sonic. We had two Sonic movies, which were actually pretty good, and they made decent money. Mario, which made over a billion dollars, and now we've got Freddy's. Now, I don't know if Freddy's is going to make a billion dollars. I don't know if FNAF is going to make that much money, but it's going to make, considering it only costs $25 million to make, it's going to make a profit. It might actually turn a bigger profit than the Sonic and Mario movies. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's is Blumhouse's biggest opening to date, surpassing their previous record set by the Halloween reboot, and also has the top global debut for a horror movie this year and the second biggest debut for a video game adaptation. Of course, behind Mario, but uh, Mario cost a lot more money. So yeah, oh, okay, it's actually less. Five Nights at Freddy's was produced on a reported budget of just $20 million, proving yet again that horror is the most lucrative genre of them all, if done right. Yeah, because you can spend a lot of time just, uh, you know, skulking around in the shadows and, uh, you know, save a lot of money on FX, right? Uh, the movie grossed an estimated $78 million in its domestic debut and added over $50 million from 60 overseas markets for a cumulative worldwide opening of more than $130 million. Um, Collider said it was a horrifyingly robotic video game adaptation, which seems to be the consensus. Okay, so I'm gonna stop you right there. It's got an A minus cinema score. This is another example of audiences and critics not seeing eye to eye. And this was a movie that was obviously made for FNAF fans. Uh, lots of Easter eggs. Again, you're gonna get more out of it if you're a fan of the franchise. There are quite a few deviations from the game lore and the book lore, but overall they kept the, uh, the spirit of, of the franchise intact, and a lot of fans seem pretty happy with it, right? Now, as someone who is a casual fan, or you know, someone who's casually familiar with the games, who's played the games a couple of times, who, who has uh, watched my daughter play the games, uh, it's watchable. The movie actually is watchable. I mean, I don't think it's the best thing ever, but it definitely is not the worst thing ever. And there were, there were articles out there 
a day or two before the movie came out saying that this was like the worst movie of the year. And I'm like, I don't know what movie you watched. It was pretty okay. I mean, it wasn't a masterpiece, but it was a pretty okay movie. I would say personally, I would give it a six or seven out of 10. It's something that if you've, you're not really that familiar with Five Nights at Freddy's um, and you know what you're getting yourself into that, you know, demonic or not demonic, but possessed animatronics, right? You know, the, the basics, right? Chuck E. Cheese gone wrong. And you, you set your expectations accordingly. It is a watchable movie with an actual plot and likable characters. And uh, you get invested in the story and it's fine. The movie is fine. Where this 26, 25, 26% on the tomato meter is coming from, I have no idea. I don't know what movie they watched. I don't know if, you know, it's because it's a video game movie because we saw Mario had very poor reviews. Sonic's reviews weren't that, that great either. Um, Sonic, I would say, probably deviated the most from the games because it had an awful lot of humans in it. You know, it had a lot of a lot going on with the humans, a lot of humans, and uh, it seemed like the critics liked the like the human element of it. Uh, and the further you get away from that, and the more you lean into, uh, you know, what made the game the game, it seems like you you kind of lose the uh, the normies. But it doesn't matter. It made a ton of money. Now, discussing film, put this out there, and some of the responses here are, are pretty dead on. Like this guy here, uh, Mark C. Bot. When you factor in the average marketing cost of a $25 million movie and the share that the theaters keep, the movie would need to bring in $75 million at the box office. The movie's already shown a profit. We're seeing those movies with a modest budget being more profitable. That's true. And that's something that I think Hollywood is going to pivot to uh, more and more, especially, especially after the strikes, they're going to make cheaper movies. But if they can make movies on a shoestring budget and make a profit and entertain people, I mean, remember a lot of the you know, my favorite movies from the 80s and 90s were made before CGI, before the $300 million budget. You know, I was like, oh, we got a couple of puppets and some good actors and some catchy music, and that's all it really took, right? Um, I watched it and enjoyed it for what it was. It was entertaining and pretty good for a horror movie. It's made more than five times its budget back the opening weekend. We won. Yeah. Uh, they did. And, you know, some of it, and I said before, I think that uh, a lot of people not liking Scott Cawthon because of drama, political drama, that, that might have factored into it. I don't know. Some outlets, maybe. But I think it's just one of those things where it's, you know, the closer you get to the source material, the more you tend to lose the normies that aren't into video games. And, uh, you know, but it's a huge franchise. It was going to make money. It could have been, the, it could have been the worst movie ever and people still would have gone to see it. Just not in the numbers that they, they went to go see it. So I think we're going to get sequels. I think we're going to get a lot of sequels and hopefully the sequels are as good as the first one, if not better. Uh, God, I hope so. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. Please subscribe for more gaming news and gaming content here on clownfish gaming. Thanks for watching. If you like this content and want to see more, please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and check out more videos on the channel, including Let's Plays in art and animation videos here on Clownfish Gaming. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume. Don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open to brute through it, eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. No, run, 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 run. Oh! You got splatted! No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh she was begging and what? you kicked her in the face! I don't care! Hey guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a- Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like, I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my God, you got the ax. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Okay. Ah! Right where you belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true.
Can't run him carrying trash. And you can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effer up. Yes. <laughs>